Deb Bridges here from Common Thread Church and we are at the beginning of our walk through the Easter story. Ryan started yesterday with a thought about Palm Sunday um, and shared some thoughts with you about that and we're going to continue through the week to look at the Jesus story as he um, as he approaches his um, death and um, resurrection. Slight spoiler alert there, sorry about that. So today we're looking at the story of where Jesus goes into the temple and uh, cleanses it or tips over the tables. It has a number of different different names. Now, wherever you come from with the whole Jesus thing, um, kind of think is slightly irrelevant. Um, let me explain. It's kind of, you might come at it um, having been brought up with it and believing it and calling yourself a Christian. You might come at it having been brought up with it and um, dismissing most of it as some kind of childish storytelling. Um, or you might have come to it af afresh and be slightly intrigued, um, trying to work out what it's all about. Um, but basically, you don't have to believe um, that Jesus was who he says he was to get wisdom from these stories. So we all come at it slightly differently um, with different understandings and different, holding different beliefs around it. And that's okay. Um, so we're going to look at the story as a story and see what it is we can learn. So Jesus goes into the temple and he tips over the tables of the people that are selling stuff. Well, they're not just kind of selling any stuff. What they're selling um, is produce and animals that can be used to go into the temple and present as sacrifices or offerings, I suppose is a better word, um, to God to try and connect with God as they understood him. Um, I know that word again presents some kind of um, stumbling blocks for people. Um, not always a word that sits comfortably or a word that we necessarily understand. I don't think we're meant to. Um, but anyway, they would go and they would present uh, these things to God as they understood him in an attempt to connect with him, attempt to appease him, um, however they however they uh, felt or whatever they were doing or felt they needed to do in that moment. And what Jesus does is he turns these tables over. He kind of makes a statement that this isn't the way to do this. You don't need to do this to connect with God. And Jesus had spent the last three years um, telling everybody that there was a different way. And that's what was getting him into trouble. And that's ultimately why he was crucified, because um, he just he spoke of a different way and it, it just didn't go down too well. So he was killed for it. But anyway, he's there in the temple and he turns it over. And um, yeah, you can just imagine sort of the chickens flying everywhere and the pigeons escaping and all that kind of chaos um, as he as he cleanses the temple. And it made me wonder what that says to our stories now, because obviously in 2021, things are a little different. Um, but I still think it speaks wisdom into our lives. And I think for many of us, we are trying to connect with God. Maybe we're trying to appease God. Um, maybe we're trying to just simply make sense of, of what God might or might not be. Um, but either way, we're trying, to, we're trying to connect with that sense of something more with the divine, with that force that's um, outside of us, yet deeply within us. Um, and we do all sorts of things to try and make sense of life and, um, and work out what this is all about. And for some of us, we, uh, we buy stuff, we, we shop, we fill our lives with more and more things in an attempt to find happiness and joy and love and purpose. Um, so it might be that, you know, the latest shoes, new phone, whatever. Um, we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to kind of make peace with ourselves by accumulating more stuff. Um, for others, it might be uh, uh, we, we keep busy. We, we're always um, working or we're, we're finding things to do in an attempt to kind of make sense of life, give ourselves some kind of purpose, meaning. And for others, we might be on, on social media a lot. We might fill our minds with, with thoughts, with things, trying to gather as much data and information and hoping, hoping that something will connect us to something, give us that sense that we, that we fit, that we belong, that we're, we're part of something more. And so we scroll through Facebook or we're forever on Instagram or, or whatever it is. We've got the news on all the time, we've got all these inputs that fill our lives. And I wonder if the Jesus story that we're, we're thinking about today is, is kind of saying to us that actually you don't need all that stuff. You don't need to fill your lives with more things. You don't need to fill your minds with more thoughts. You don't need to constantly accumulate more. Um, that isn't how you're going to connect with God, you don't need to get more stuff and um, as an attempt to kind of connect with, with the divine. Um, what if instead we need to create space? We need a kind of cleansing of our lives, a kind of um, decluttering to allow space for um, the divine, that force, that love to really work through us and in us. 
So maybe this week, as we step uh, towards Easter, maybe you'll take time um, to, to turn off your phone, to turn off the TV, um, to not go on Amazon, um, to just simply be um, present in a moment and um, find some space to declutter, to connect with that sense of, of something more. And maybe in doing that, um, we'll find out more about who we really are. So join us this week as we journey um, through. Um, take time to, uh, to discover um, the real meaning, the real stories behind Easter and, uh, and meet with us. Yeah, I'd love that. Take care. Thank you.